Good morning, West Leiden, and welcome to another edition of WLTV. I'm Martin Bonilla. And I'm Teban Hernandez, and happy National Pastry Day. As many of you know, the West Leiden Student Council held its semi-annual blood drive last Friday, and it was a great success. Life Stores collected 155 pints of blood from students, faculty, and staff. WLTV's Liliana Toral spoke with a student who donated blood at the blood drive to give us more information on the event. Hi, I'm Juliana Tehran. I'm here with Tori Mack, who is one of the students participating in this year's blood drive. So, Tori, can you tell us what made you want to give blood? Uh, last year I did it because my friends did, and I wanted to step outside my box. I was like, well, they're not doing it this year, so let me go ahead and do it this year. So, was this a good or a bad experience for you? Honestly, it was amazing. I'm like, I'm not used to needles, and I used to hate needles as a kid growing up, but like, since I did it last year, I was like, forget it, I'm going to do it this year again, and it actually turned out pretty decent. Now, what would you say to somebody who is afraid of giving blood for next time? Just, just do like what I did. Step outside your box. I know you may be like, well, I'm scared of needles. What if I do this, that? No, just step outside your box. Be comfortable. Do something that you never did. It's for a good cause, and it's for a good reason. Thank you, Tori. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Juliana. While most students are getting ready for the finals and the holidays, the English department is getting ready for a big event next year. During the second week in January, both East and West Leiden will be hosting their first ever Leiden Writers Week. This exciting three-day event will feature students, faculty, staff, and professional writers all sharing their writing and the power of expressing themselves through the written word. WLTV's Alex Franken talked to one of the students who will be presenting their work that week. Thanks, guys. Hello, I'm Alex Franklin, and I'm here with Beto Reyes, and we're here to talk to you about Writer's Week. Beto, what is Writer's Week? Uh, Writer's Week is a time for professional and amateur writers to come and collaborate on the liberal arts. And are there any teachers that are participating in Writer's Week? Yes, uh, the teachers that are participating in Writer's Week are Mr. Grieve, uh, Mr. Curra, and Ms. Travaluvius. And Beto, um, if I'm hearing correctly, I believe that you are participating in Writers Week as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and do you have any of that work that you're showcasing with you today? Uh, yes, I do. You want to share that with us? Uh, sure. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Uh. <laughs> Break the walls when I'm off a couple bars. Hated by the man, so I had my way on to Mars. Wanna see new faces nobody's ever heard of. It's kind of absurd, cause I'm going dark like General Zerd. I'm only buzzed every other light year. I steer away from the good year. And I'm used to being cheap since I'm so broke. I'm always seen as the owl of the totem pole. Last one down, the one always forgotten. A fatherless bastard mistreated by the departed. I'm bombarded by the regarded that don't know. They hate on me, but they don't know. They don't know where I hail from, but they assume. Thrown away like the drag cigarette that they consume. They don't know that I walked the world less traveled. They don't know that I wanted to be a part of them. Instead, I was left behind just like the best of them. Oh. And if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Alex Franklin, would you be willing to share your piece with us? Um, sure, why not? I'm just here to talk a little bit about Writer's Week. <clears throat> I'm Alex Franklin. I'm just here to speak to all of you about Writer's Week. Writer's Week is a great way to showcase your work, but just keep it clean. I'm young, black, and handsome. I can write a song about that. You not liking Donald Trump? You can write a poem about that. The key to this is just write. Nothing else, just write. Writer's Week is coming soon, so keep your pen on sight. But you got time, it's after break, January 17th to be exact. Girl, I see you writing them love songs, but I see you writing them rap, so don't be afraid, get up on that stage and do your thing. Cause I know you writing them flames. <laughs> yeah. That fire. That fire. And with that, we'd like to say, back, back to, to the, the studio. studio. Thanks, Alex. Just a reminder that if you want to present your work during Writer's Week, you should talk to your English teacher before winter break. Finals are just around the corner, and the APA students want to make sure you don't get too stressed out about the big week. So they have brought back Chill Out Week this year to help take the edge off of all that studying. WLTV's Noel Lothar spoke with some of APA students to learn more about their schedule of events for the next week. Thanks, guys. I'm Noel Lothar, and I'm here with Marco and Anthony to get more details about APA's third annual Chill Out Before Finals Week. So, Marco, what sparked the idea to create another Spirit Week? 
We chose to create another spirit week because a few weeks before finals, a lot of students tend to be really stressed. So we wanted to give them another opportunity to have fun. Sounds like a very fun-filled week. And with that being said, Anthony, what is happening during the week? So on Wednesday morning, we'll be serving free hot chocolate. And during the lunch periods, we'll be having a free raffle. And then again, Marco, what does Chill Before Finals have as an impact on our students? I think it's going to show how united we are as a school. And it's going to give us another opportunity to show our light and pride. Most importantly then, Anthony, what are the days of the week? Yeah, on Monday, we'll be having color day. On Tuesday, we'll be having Spirit Day. Wednesday, uh, Student Teacher Switch Day. Thursday, uh, Sports Day. And finally, on Friday, we have, we'll be having Early Sweater Day. <laughs> so starting on Monday, show your class color and show your light and pride. Back to the studio. Thanks, Noel. Well, that's all the time we have for you today, Lighten. And good luck to all of the Lighten Sports teams competing this weekend. And don't forget, Go, Go Eagles! Eagles! Let's see what's in here. Whoa. Hello there. <laughs> All right, awesome. Welcome Whoa. to the wonderful holiday on wine. Please sit wherever you want, like. Awesome. Whoa. That's where Sherry's berries come in. Right now, you can What a wonderful place. Oh, we got hot chocolate. Awesome. What else? Snacks. What's a wonderland without snacks, right? Ooh. This is awesome. Hello, standing with me here today is Eddie, Miss D, Miss Navarre, and Manny. So Miss D, can you tell us a bit about the bridge program? Sure, it's um, a life skills based program where students learn vocational skills and daily living skills. Awesome. And Miss Navarre, uh, can you tell us what inspired the holiday to unwind? Absolutely. Our students have been working so hard and they have gained so many skills in the kitchen. We knew we wanted to be able to showcase them to everybody. We wish we had enough food for the whole school, so we instead we just asked all the staff to come and let our students take care of all the work. Awesome. And Eddie, can you tell me some what kind of jobs you had during this Holiday on Wine? We do the host, waiters, um, uh, lime cook, barista, and the cooking. Awesome. And what about you, Manny? Uh, I'm a busser. Yeah. And what yeah. did you do as a busser? Uh, cleaning the table. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds like a great event. All right, back to the studio. Do you want to build a snowman? Or go outside and play. No, 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 no. Is that gum? 